Hey Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. This is part four of the B-17G Flying Fortress by Ravel, it's 148th scale. All right, previously we built stuff. We already know that. We are going to assemble this ball turret. We cut it out, gotta sand it down, because as you can see, looking at this, seams don't quite line up. So there's stuff on there that you gotta get off to make these seams line up good. So we're going to work on that. Once we get it all sanded down and things line up, we push this gun inside tight fit, put some glue on. I got a lot to learn about glue. I know this is the wrong way to use the glue, but you know, eventually we learn the right way, which I do in a couple videos from now. So you will see that. Uh, but this is how I did it for this video. Glue that together, put it on, seal it real good. Mine did break apart later on down the road and I had to redo it. Stuff happens. So this is the ball turret. Once it's dry, stick it in its little holder. Just like that, it pops in there. Make sure it rotates. It does, perfect. Then you paint it and then it might not rotate. It pops out real easy. Uh, I am going to dip my rear wheel right here in some acrylic and we are going to dirty it up. I made a little bit of a gray mixture with some stuff in there. Once that acrylic dried, I just brushed on this concoction of gray paint. Once that's dry, we're gonna take it off a little bit with a cotton swab, make it look weathered. And once we make it look weathered, we are going to do some other fun stuff with it. We're going to glue the rear of this into that little thing, the rear bulk head. So this is what it looks like, a little bit of gray. Looks kind of like it's skidded on some stuff, dirt, whatever. Cut out this rear bulk head. Just place this in there like that, very simple. Put a little glue down in the holes and it's done. So yeah, more panels to paint because I didn't get everything you know you look at pictures and then you realize you know what I could do this a little bit better so I did um, I know that's green I can't remember if I painted it green in the other video and show that but either way I am painting this aluminum silver on the inside because I read that not all B-17s had the green chromate in there so that's what I did painted it green taking off my liquid mask that I used just trying some new techniques see what works for me painting aluminum onto the bomb racks. These are not the greatest bomb racks in the world, I will say. I haven't had many experiences with this airplane in different models, but not the best. So we got our guns, cannons, whatever you want to call these big things. Paint the handles, the grips, the mounts, all that good stuff. They got to mount them somehow. And this is how they did it. So just carefully go around. Remember, I'm not going to see a lot of these because they are inside small, tiny windows. You're going to have to take a flashlight to look at the side unless you do the half version. Here's another instrument panel. Get that conduit, hose, whatever that is. Somebody please tell me. So we're going to cut out our windows. A lot of these windows. Sand them down, make sure they fit properly. I know there are better ways to do this, as I said. I've learned my lesson. I promise I will do them right the next B-17G I do. When? I don't know. Anywho, put each one of them in. Make sure they're sealed good. Don't want them popping out. Got one window there. We have another window right here. This is the front of the plane, I believe. If not, I'm sorry. This is definitely the front. Different styles of windows right here. Get the inside portion of that and you see where that goes. Also, don't forget to make sure you got all your flashing cleared away because we don't want the flashing, that's bad. Push this in here, little guy just like that. Seal it up. I don't think I sealed mine quite well because you know I'm horrible at this so far, but I'm getting better. I really am. That's what they look like installed. I got some fingerprints, I'll clean them off. Don't worry about it, I promise. There, so that's three on that side. And of course, the one that I haven't put in yet. Sealing it in. Now this is the opposite side of the aircraft, of course. One window there. Got two here, you see how those go. One on the right side, and then the other on the left. Just like that. 
perfect. See all this flashing that I was talking about? Yeah, I clear that away. My model's old, probably old molds, so had to clear that. Go around with that window, glue the bomb halves together. I'm sorry, the bomb racks. Looks like I already glued them together, and then for the video, I took it apart and re-glued it just for you guys. Yeah, it was starting to set probably. Who knows? Either way, these are there. Get all the sides, put every piece together. Make it look pretty, this model making madness. So we've got the guns. I'm going to just test fit this for now. This is the rear gun. Or actually, I'm sorry, the front gun turret. We've got these little things. Cut the tips off. Yes, just the tips. We all know that game. Just the tips. All right, so put that in there. Test it. See how it fits. I'm going to glue it later. Why I'm showing you this now and not doing it, I don't know. But that's my order. I do things in order of how I make the videos. Probably because I got to clean up the flashing and stuff inside of there. And this is the rear gun, so we're going to prepare that. You don't even really see it because it's kind of hidden. And that just is what you would see through the windows. Inside stuff inside the plane, we've got more flashing that we have to clean off that you see. These are on the engines. Lots of flashing for my model because it's older. Molds go bad. Clean that off. Make it look pretty, please. Install the rear wheel. Put it down. You can see where the glue goes right along that edge, of course. By the way, thank you for watching my videos. Watch the whole thing because you love me. I would. Paint the ball turret. I'm going to give that a gray color all the way around. You guys see I got my liquid mask on there. Probably should have just done this differently. I don't know. You know, maybe when you make a model, you just kind of do it. Sometimes your plan is to do something right and it just doesn't work out. Here's the rotator deal. Whatever it's called holds the ball turret. And this is for the front gun. I held it with my finger. So take this and just press it inside of that little hole. It snaps in. Check the ball turret. Yay, it moves. Then take it out. So I'm taking off my liquid mask. I used that for the guns just to try different stuff. I've learned make a thicker layer. It's easier to come off too. So this is it. And of course, the very, very front of that. Don't scratch your window. It'd be bad. There it is. Had to clean up the paint job a little. So attach this. You see it's got all these little spots that it goes in. Lots of little, I guess, registration marks you want to call them. That way you put it in the right spot. A lot of them, like I said, once you get all this glued in, you'll place the top on this. That way everything sets properly. So you see you got a mark there. Get it inside, make sure all the glue stays. Honestly, it won't go anywhere once you have the other half glued onto this, but here it is. Just test fit it. Make sure it works. Do this after each piece that you stick in there. We are now assembling the front gun turret, as promised. Put the gun through. This top has little pins on the underside to keep that gun from popping out. And just glue around the sides just like this. And that's all there is. Set it aside. I pulled off the chair for this because remember I put that pin in and I realized this is easier because I didn't quite understand how this model was built. Now I do and now we can put that chair back on later on. So here I painted the bullets, the shell casings, just I did them yellow and then I weathered them a little bit, took it off just to make it look kind of dirty and brassy. Just like that, same thing. I think it did the job, seeing it from the inside. And we are going to glue this just above the ball turret like that. There we go. I don't even think you see it in the plane. You might be able to. I can't remember. This is our air canister. They fill it with oxygen so they can breathe. I don't remember how much they have in there. But that is it. Just like that. Yellow. Do the interior got a lot of tables and instruments 
So we're going to put that in there. This is an upright instrument panel right here. At least my impression it is, unless it's like a table or something, because it is wood. Maybe it folds down. I don't know. Put the air canister on there. Let it say, okay, there we go. Now put in the rear gun. It's only half a gun because you're only supposed to see the inside and then you stick the outside through the outside of the aircraft. Put on this instrument panel right here. This is on the right side of the aircraft. And then we are going to put one on the left side of the aircraft. Easy way to remember is how it's positioned just like that, that top piece. Hopefully I told you right and you don't beat me up. There's the tail though. So anyway, this is the uh, other side of the aircraft. Each one has a table, chair, whatever you want to call it. So windows, time to install these, the front ones. Do a little bit of sanding and we will put these in just like this. Press it in, one on each side of course. Very easy process. There we go. And of course, this one right here. Anyway, as usual, that concludes this video. This is what's coming up next. Put this in. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like, of course. And until next time, see ya.